Hey everybody, so today we're going to be demoing the inside of the ambulance. So demo has started on the inside of the ambo here, taking down this part of the ceiling here, and going to be replacing all these lights with new LED puck lights. So right, what I'm doing right now is I'm going and removing all of the maroon vinyl padding. So then this is what it looks like here. So I can drop these panels right here. All right, so I've got the ceiling mostly stripped down. All of that maroon padding is out. Um, that's all in an effort to start taking the ceiling out. What I'm going to do next is just chop the wires, label them um, so I know which switch they go to on this panel here. All right, so now that that shelf unit's out, I'm going to start taking these wood blocks out here because that's what's holding the ceiling up in some places and it'll allow me some more access back there. Alrighty, so ceiling is out. And now what we're left with is a vapor barrier, a about a quarter inch thick metal plate, and then insulation. Now there's a bunch of holes in that metal plate uh, for where all the lights were run, but I think this is a great starting point for a new ceiling here. But you can see just how well these ambulances are built. When you're looking at the frame here, this is some thick, thick stuff they're using here and it's really quite impressive the build quality in these ambulances here but let's look at that all in just uh, about an hour's worth of work here tearing this thing down it's looking real nice now so tonight I'm going to be working on getting these benches out of here so I can start designing a bed for this space. So these are just on hinges right now and have some storage space underneath. So what I'm going to do is take these cushions off here and so I can get some good measurements for building out a new bed here. I just picked these up. These are actually quick attachment drill bits for my impact driver. So I really like using my impact driver just because it's small and easy to use in um, tight areas. So having these bits here that actually just quick connect right into the end is going to be super helpful. Also helps me use one less tool as well. All right, now for weeks I've been debating about the aesthetic for the inside in here. I want to make sure I keep it that rugged theme in here. So I don't want to go too light and artsy, but I definitely need to change it up a little bit. So it's all gray in here right now, which I really like because white is very common. It's fairly plain. Um, it appeals to a lot of people and it's a very clean look. I think gray is the next kind of level up where it still feels clean, looks good in here. It's not too dark and so I really like the color in here and I really want to keep it. Uh, but there is some holes in the wall, some places where it's chipping and whatnot. So I'm going to clean up as much of the original gray that's in here and see what it really looks like underneath. So let's get to work. So I just broke out the magic erasers and these are doing the job. These things, I, I don't know what we did to deserve them, but they are amazing. Because I've been, I was working with chemicals and a rag before 
and wasn't having much luck, but this is taking him taking anything that's on there right off. So thanks for sticking around today. I know it was a long one with a lot of time lapses, but honestly, it was just a lot of hours worth of work to get this all ripped out and cleaned out inside. So make sure you like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss next week's video.